Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Bele Morgo and my work focuses on building innovation ecosystems to transform Africa's economies into well-being economies. I'm also a writer and I enjoy writing short stories. Creating good health is actually similar to writing a good story. It requires a plot, developed characters, a narrative, and that you weave all of these together with intention. So let's zoom into the story of the health of an average person living in a city like Lagos, Nigeria. We'll call her Ada. Ada's health and her eventual lifespan will be determined by the condition of the road she walks on, how safe she is on the streets, whether there are waste management services in her neighborhood, how polluted the air she inhales is, the quality of food she can afford, whether she can afford quality health care, and so on. When you zoom out to the level of a city or a country, you'll see that it is all these moving pieces that become the plot of our health and well-being. Without changing these pieces, we'll be stuck in the same story of poor and unequal health outcomes. Yet, very often, solutions to these challenges tend to focus on the last mile of health care, on helping Ada when she's already sick, new apps to diagnose her disease, to help her in an emergency, to get her drugs, to connect her to a doctor. These solutions are lifesavers, don't get me wrong, but focusing on them in isolation is like rewriting the last paragraph of the story alone. It comes too late. In many cases, if Ada is not in the right income bracket or lives in the wrong neighborhood, she may not even be able to access them. What is really needed is to change the story itself. To do this, we have to move towards systemic innovations, integrated solutions that look at all the building blocks of the story of our health in and beyond care. Essentially, we have to reverse engineer our story to understand its pieces. The bad road that made Ada have an accident, the pollution that worsened her asthma, the safety issues that affect her mental health, the healthcare services she could not afford. By leaning into this interconnected story of health, we can truly begin to rewrite it. As a child, I used to dream of making a difference in the health of the people around me. Today, I get to do science on the global stage. As I do so, I've realized that there are so many challenges we have known for years, and yet they persist. I find it quite frustrating. For example, as early as the year 2000, scientific articles called attention to the rise of diabetes, heart diseases, and other non-communicable diseases in emerging economies. I often wonder how many people have died in the decades since these scientific articles were published. We have to do something different. We have to go beyond rewriting the last paragraph to rewriting the story itself. I have dedicated my work to this exact goal, to understand and design systemic innovations to the challenges that de define the story of our health and therefore to contribute to transforming Africa's economies into well-being economies. I think of this in three parts. Part one is the beginning, where we make sense of the story of our health. Every city has a signature, a persona made up of the building blocks that shape its health outcomes, from the history to social norms, to demographics, to health outcomes, to infrastructure, and so on. Through my work, I seek to understand this persona of different African cities and how they relate to the health of citizens. This helps us to know the trajectory a city is on, what challenges it is facing, and what challenges it can anticipate. Part two is the middle, where we invest in systemic innovations. With this information, we don't have to start from scratch. We can compare cities in similar points in the trajectory of development to understand what is currently needed. We can invest in adaptive innovations, solutions that have been shown to address existing problems. Beyond that, we can also anticipate what the city will need and invest in anticipatory innovations that can prevent problems in the future. Part three is the ending, where we make sense of our solutions in order to improve them. But we don't stop at designing portfolios of systemic innovation. By using tools to continually learn what is going on in all these interconnected systems, we can make sure that the solutions are suited for the people they are designed for, improve them, and where necessary, apply them on a bigger scale. 
That, in a nutshell, is the blueprint. But to write a great story, you cannot do it alone. You need editors, publishers, press, readers, etc. Likewise, we can only write a different story for health in Africa with all the species of the ecosystem. The innovators making solutions, policy makers incentivizing innovation on complex challenges, investors with the patient capital to shape our markets and infrastructure for health and well-being, and researchers that study the moving parts to help us know what works. So I hope that if you're thinking big about health in Africa and about innovating at the level of the causes and not just the consequences, you'll reach out to me. Thank you.